Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Gromas here. This is a correction video, but it's also a video to give you guys a little more info on potentiometers. Um, I screwed up in the first video. I was looking at the spec sheet for the P version driver, which is a PWM driver. The driver that comes in this kit is a D version driver, so it's not capable of pulse width modulation dimming, but I'll show you what features it is capable of in this quick video. So if you really want to understand what's going on with your potentiometer, whether you buy from Amazon, eBay, or Radio Shack, Grab a $7 multimeter from Harbor Freight and hook up the ground to the left pin and the positive to the center pin and put it on uh, DC resistance, put it on 200K ohms. And um, it's a little bit of probably hard to see in the video, but uh, testing this 100K potentiometer, I'm only getting 986K, which means that the driver is only going to run 98.6% of its maximum. So that is when I talked about the 10K resistor, that's increasing the potentiometer from a 100K basically to a 110K. It would allow the driver to put 110% power into the LEDs if it had that capability, but at least you're putting 100% um, instead of 98%. And then on the other side of it, on the dimming side, it protects you from over dimming. These drivers are capable of dimming down to 10%. Um, so this provides a little bit of resistance in case the potentiometer shorts out. So you can see here, I've got the resistor in line and I'm getting 108K ohms. So that's it. since they don't have sell 108 or 110K ohm potentiometer, adding that resistor to the ground side, a 10K ohm resistor is gonna give you that little bit of extra safety on both the lower dimming and the maxing outside. And I screwed up and told you guys the wrong wires to use for your potentiometer. So um, in a mean wheel driver that you guys are probably familiar with, the blue wire is the dimming positive and it also supplies 10 volts. In this driver, the yellow wire has nothing to do really with the actual control of the dimming of the LEDs. It's just a 10 volt power supply. So you will need to hook up the yellow wire for analog dimming to the far right pin of your potentiometer. That'll supply the 10 volts to the potentiometer so that it can vary the resistance between the purple and the gray wires. So you can see here, I'm turning the potentiometer just to demonstrate that turning it has no effect on the 10 volts, which is constant out of the yellow wire. Now, when I switch the meter over to testing the purple wire and turn the potentiometer, you can see that turning the potentiometer does have an effect on the voltage that's supplied by the yellow wire. You wire you see here as I turn the potentiometer up it increases the voltage that flows between the purple and the ground wire so just showing that on the multimeter so you guys can get maybe a little understanding a visual understanding of exactly what's going on with your potentiometer and with dimming and so you guys can get a visual picture I've got my multimeter on the left a kilowatt on the right and my potentiometer in my hands here and you can see as I dim down the potentiometer it lowers the voltage between the wires and the potentiometer and you can see the wattage on the right is lowering from 217 down to 150. The voltage is also dropping as you continue to turn the potentiometer to the left with less voltage between the dimming wires, which is the purple and the gray, you get less wattage into the LEDs. And that's how it works. And conversely, when you go to turn the potentiometer back up, you can see the voltage increasing and the wattage increasing. And probably in the background, you can see the brightness increasing as well. Back up to max. But don't worry guys, if you don't want to get stuck with just an analog potentiometer, you want to use a digital type controller, this driver will still accommodate that. Um, in this example, you would omit the yellow lead because these little digital um, controllers supply their own voltage, so you don't need the yellow lead. You would just hook up your purple lead to the positive, and you would hook up the gray lead to the negative. In this case with the bluefish, the red wire is the positive and the uninsulated wire is the ground. And then you'll be able to sit on your ass and pick up your iPad, iPhone, or Android and fuck around with your lights without having to get up and turn a knob. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this helped you in some way and uh, sorry for making that mistake on the first video, but I wanted to correct it as soon as humanly possible. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.